A very complex and interesting Japanese film is regarded as 2021 Best Picture for several critics and it was recognized by the Academy. Ryusuke Yamaguchi directed this film with a kind of brilliant touch and we are gonna talk about this. Hello folks, I'm Daniel Nobri. And last night, I visited the movie theater again and I watched Drive My Car, a soon-to-be Criterion Collection film. And let's talk about and stay with me about my review on this very interesting, unique Japanese film. This is an Emmy. I'm your host, Daniel Nobri. Welcome to Cinemi. For the fans of the Criterion Collection, international films, independent films, and American classics. Please subscribe and enjoy this channel. Number one, I must say, this movie really allows you to multiple interpretations. Some people will love this film, some people not so much, because it's not that kind of scenic film that shows a lot outside. Matter of fact, it's very interior. Everything is about interiors. There is a theater, takes place in there, the actors are developing a play. The play is important in the storyline because sometimes actors, they develop their characters and they reveal something important about their personalities. At least that is the perspective of director Hamaguchi for this film. He believes in the interiors, small spaces, and the card, of course, is a very important character on the film. It's based on a short story by Haruki Murakami that developed a story in a convertible Saab yellow. But for cinematic reasons, and I go with the choice of the director, he decided to make the same Saab, he got the same car from the story, the original, in red which is kind of interesting color because every time you see the card is very distinguished and this, the style of the Saab is very unique in car industry. But it's not about the card, of course, it's not about that. It's about relations. This movie is about relations. The first part of the film. The first part of the film takes 40 minutes for you to see the credits of the film. So the first 40 minutes, we're gonna see the first part in Tokyo when you know that the main character is an actor and he's married with a screenwriter. The screenwriter, she tells uh, stories that he write it down and makes his plays or, or he add every time she's gonna have sex with him, but the next day she doesn't have any recurrence what she was saying to him. But she's a screenwriter, she's very famous, they are married, they lost their uh, daughter in some point in their lives and that brings the drama so they're kind of they love each other very much but things happen that will change a little bit on the life of the director actor he's acting in a play in Tokyo he's got invited to do the same production as a director in Hiroshima there's something uniqueness about Japanese films and the cinema of Ozu uh, Koroeda in Hamaguchi now, that is very interior. They talk about characters, they talk about their community, they talk about just that thing without getting fancy, having action scenes or anything like that. I love that because I love that kind of Japanese films and of course I love the other ones as well. I'm very uh, fan of Japanese cinema in general. And this film has the kind of uniqueness. I don't know exactly how I classify this film because it's difficult. You're gonna watch again, I certainly will, and it really allows you multiple interpretations every time that you go back, because the play they are doing when the director moves to Hiroshima, he start casting different actors, one of them is mute, it's fantastic, and uh, everybody from different nations, he put it together to do it, that particular play that has to do with the story of the film, I must say, and uh, everything kind of start unfolding little by little, small pieces. And I like everything that I see as a whole. I think it's a great different film, in different Japanese film for certain uniqueness. Uh, Hamaguchi gave plenty liberty of the actors to act throughout the film. 
is different. For my um, perspective, the movie was, you know, international success, big time in Cannes Film Festival, best screenplay, best director, everything, and the Academy Awards here just acknowledge in four noble categories, including best picture, best director, best screenplay, and best international feature film. Of course, the film is favorite in that category. It might win, it's likely, we don't know yet, it's too soon. It's just very, very interesting film. I think you won't be disappointed. It's coming from the Criterion Collection very soon. We don't know exactly when, but I'm sure it's gonna be loaded with extras and probably it's gonna be a 4K uh, disc. I can see that coming, it's just must be. It's just such an accolade, this film this year, that is just amazing. I hope you like this mini review. There's much more to dig into this film. Drive My Car is very interior film, it's very personal. It was not tiring watching three hours film like this just because the movie has interesting characters and the director definitely knows how to deal with drama. Don't forget to subscribe to Cinemi if you like my channel. Don't forget to subscribe my channel on YouTube. Also, my channel talks about my trips. I just recently posted one trip in Venice Beach, California. I would like you to check it out. We'll be coming back with more reviews from the Criterion Collection films, from new films coming in the theaters, and there's lots going on in cinema right now. I hope I can count on you on my next video. I'm Daniel Nobri. Thanks for watching. See you next time.